So you guys just started, let me just recap. You guys just started with the directrix and you start with the focus. When you put the directrix on the focus and then you make a crease and you do a bunch of creases like this, you can see your parabola. And the reason why it makes the parabola is because the distance between a point on the parabola, the focus, and the focus is the same distance as the point on the parabola to the directrix. So let me show you guys what we can do now because we know this. Now I'm going to say, I'm gonna give these uh, points some values here. I'm gonna say that, uh, that this point right here is uh, zero P. I'm just gonna use the letter P right here. And then um, this point right here, we're gonna say that one is X, Y. And then could you guys tell me what this point would be right here? What would that point be? This would be, uh, no, not zero. We know something more specific about it, but there is a zero in there. No, is there a zero? No, there's not a zero. Here, let me give you guys another point. This vertex right here is gonna be zero comma zero. So do you guys know the distance from the line to here? Same as this one, right? Okay, so this would be a distance of negative P. So what would uh, this, the coordinates of that point be? It would be X, because it's gonna be the same as this X value. And then what's my Y value gonna be? Negative P. No, because here's my X and Y axis. My X axis is right here. Oh, we can barely see that. <coughs> my x-axis is right here. And my y-axis is right here. I missed the, missed the vertex there, or the origin. But you guys see my points? 0p, uh, xy, and x negative p? Yeah. Okay, check this out. So I'm making the claim that this distance is equal to this distance. So that means if I use a distance formula uh, with these two points right here, this point and this point, I would go zero minus X. I would square that plus, and then I do the, the Y values. That would be P minus Y. I square that, and then I square root that. That's a distance formula. I don't know if you guys remember the distance formula, but that, that's it right there, okay? I'm claiming that that equals this distance, okay? Let's get a different color. All right, so we'll, do, we'll use yellow for that point and that point. Okay, so we got um, x minus x, and we gotta square that, and we subtract the y's. We get y minus negative p, and we gotta square that. Okay, square root of all that. <coughs> all right, you guys ready? Yeah. We're gonna do some math now. We're gonna simplify this a little bit. All right. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna square both sides. We're gonna square this side, and we're gonna square this side, which will be nice because it gets rid of the square root signs, right? So the square root signs are gone. And now I have negative x to the second power, which is x squared. And I have over here, I have, um, oh man, I'm going to have to distribute that. That's going to be P squared minus 2PY uh, plus Y squared. All right, so that's the left side. So all I did was uh, I, I, I squared this thing right here. And now on this side, I got to do the same business. Now, what is X minus X going to give us? Zero. zero. So I have zero squared, which is just zero. So that's gone. And then we have, um, if I change this a little bit to so say y plus p. If I square that, that's going to be y squared plus 2yp plus p squared. Okay, now look at the left side, look at the right side. If I subtract p squared from both sides, what's going to happen? They go away. Okay, what else will cancel? The y squareds? Oh, you think the 2py, but check this out. I would add 2py right here, and I would add 2py right here, or 2yp, 2py, same thing. I get 4py equals x squared. This is the formula 
for a vertical parabola. Now, I just took two distances, I set them equal to each other, did some simplification. Now we can clearly see where the heck that 4 came from and what does that P represent. And now we can use this conic section, this parabola right here, uh, to define any, any parabola that we, that we see. And so if this formula defines every problem that we see, uh, let's, let's remember it and go to some of these problems and see if we can solve them. Now this is, uh, this is a vertical one, and I remember that because of the x squared. I'm used to x squared, and I'm used to problems going up or going down. Uh, this is the hori horizontal one. The horizontal one, the hori, is y squared equals 4px. Okay, so it's the same thing, but the x and the y switch spots. So let's look at some examples now. 